At this cabinet editor screen, as well as at the wall elevation and floor plan designer screen, we may show our face frame only instead of the whole cabinet. Let's use this feature to explore some face frame construction methods and alterations. Cabinet Pro allows various styles of face frame construction. Here, I have selected full length mullions where the middle styles will extend from the top of the cabinet to the bottom and the rails will intersect between the styles. Or, we can select full length rails where the top, middle, and bottom rails will extend through the entire width of the cabinet stopping at each end style. We can also select exposed rails, which is very similar to what we just saw, but where the top and bottom rails extend through each end style showing end grain. This is useful when we want to have a run of cabinets appear as though their top and bottom rails are continuous throughout the run. Or we can select what is called conventional where the top and bottom rails stop at each end style, but the middle styles extend in between the top and bottom rails. We can dimension the face frame at any point where you will notice we have made many of our face frame parts different widths. Our nailers can either extend the entire width of the cabinet or, as is shown here, in between vertical partitions. We can extend one or more of our styles all the way to the floor or to any dimension of our choice. And we can apply either inside or outside angles to our styles in order to butt up against an adjacent cabinet positioned at an angle. Here is a top view of our cabinet where we have our right frame style angled all the way down its length at 22 and a half degrees while our left style is angled at a negative 45 degrees. When we produce a cut list we can have just the parts and their dimensions displayed along with a dimension diagram of the face frame or we can show the same dimensions along with more information per part that will let us know which parts we need to cut at an angle. In addition to notes such as these printed directly on our cut list, Cabinet Pro will also make necessary adjustments automatically. Normally, for example, this style was set at a width of 2 inches, but notice that its width on the cut list has been automatically altered to a little less than 2 and 5 sixteenths to account for the angled cut. This new width is automatically calculated by Cabinet Pro and is based upon the angle being cut and the thickness of the style. Cabinet Pro will also show the positions of intersecting rails and styles on each face frame part. This kind of information placed directly on our cut list increases efficiency and decreases the possibility for errors. Cabinet Pro can also create cabinet components such as this built up finished end that might be used against a dishwasher with a face frame part in the front. Each of these parts is custom made in Cabin Pro and shows just one example of how specialty items can be built. Not only can we extend our styles down to any length we wish, but we can also independently extend our ends down to whatever length we want, such as is shown in this refrigerator cabinet. Based upon the requirements of our custom cabinet, we can have two vertical partitions flush with the edge of each middle style, as well as moving the outer ends to be flush with the inside edge of the end styles. Or, we can choose to have one partition between sections where we can individually move each vertical partition along the width of its own style. Or perhaps we do not want any vertical partitions in our cabinet or maybe one or two in the sections of our choice. We can make tall cabinets with numerous openings where each face frame part is of a different width. In this cabinet I have made inset doors so that we can easily see the differences in rail width. As you see here we can have separate toe kicks where the ends are not notched in the same room as cabinets whose ends are notched. We can also place toe supports if needed. On the left side of this cabinet we have our predefined face frame reveal of 3 eighths of an inch, but in addition to reveals we can also place either scribes or fillers on each end of any cabinet. On the right side I have placed a 1 inch scribe instead of a, a reveal because a reveal does not alter the width of the face frame style, but a scribe does. In this case, we have placed a 1 inch scribe on the right side of this cabinet, thereby increasing the width of the style from 2 to 3 inches. 
Cabinet Pro defines a scribe as an additional width to an existing style. A filler is a separate piece of wood attaching uh, that piece of wood to an existing style. On the other side, we now have a 2 inch filler attached as a separate part, in which case we might want to extend the toe kick as well to cover at least the filler. On some cabinets, it is necessary to move each vertical partition along the width of the mullion or middle style. For example, in this section we are required to move the vertical partition to the far right of the style, while the vertical partition on this section was moved to the far left of the style. Each vertical partition may be moved to any location along the width of the style in front of it. In addition, each vertical partition and each horizontal partition in a given cabinet may have its own inset into the back to allow for differences in depth that may be necessary. On all of these cabs that we have seen, the CNC machining has already been calculated and completed as well as the cutlass as we are viewing here. This has been done while the cabinets were designed. The holes for adjustable shelves, dados for vertical partitions, horizontal partitions and fixed shelves, as well as the drawer guide holes for either side mounted or rear mounted drawer guides and other machining is ready to be machined on the CNC router. In addition, all locations of the center lines of hinges are reported for each door. Face frame construction was the first type of cabinetry developed within Cabinet Pro back in 1986. Since then, it has evolved to encompass all that is required by those who build custom face frame cabinets. And while CNC machining has been greatly um, res generally reserved for frameless cabinetry, uh, which we also support extremely well, we have spent the last few years in making sure CNC machining is efficient for face frame cabinetry, custom cabinetry as well.